What's going on football fans? Football season is right around the corner and of course, me and my brother Lawson wanted to make our full 2019 NFL predictions. So basically how this works, we're gonna go over each division, rank where we put them in the standings, and we're gonna have 15 seconds to explain all of those. And once we get to the playoffs, we have 30 seconds to explain who's gonna win that game and why. And uh, yeah, basically we're gonna go predict who makes the playoffs and who wins. But enough talk, let's just get straight into it. So at last place in the AFC East, I have the Miami Dolphins. Simply put, they're just a rebuilding team. I like their future, I don't know what to make of Josh Rosen yet, but I don't think they're ready to compete this year. So at last place, I do have the Miami Dolphins even though I'm a fan. I do think Josh Rosen's gonna show some things this year, but they're simply just not ready. Next year will be it. The New York Jets kind of grew on me. I think Adam Gase could maybe do some amazing things, and people seem to hype up Sam Darnold and Le'Veon Bell, but the Jets have a lot of work to do, and I don't know if Adam Gase is still going to do it this time. I wouldn't say the Bills are one of the more hyped up teams of the year, but while some people do, I'm telling you right now, they didn't help Josh Allen enough this offseason, they're going to look the same as last year. With the Buffalo Bills, I see Josh Allen having a big leap forward, and I also see an underrated defense and an underrated head coach. This team is going to surprise a lot of people. I think Adam Gates is an underrated coach, and Sam Darnold, I do expect to take a bigger leap this year. I think they'll be in wildcard contention, but won't quite make it. The Bengals' first round pick is injured, AJ Green is questionable right now, Andy Dalton needs to go. There's just a lot of questions right now in Cincinnati. Even though Lamar Jackson showed some promise last year, I think they're going to take a little bit of a step down this year and disappoint. Lamar Jackson has no offensive weapons, plus he has accuracy issues, and the Baltimore Ravens for some reason released all of their defensive stars. This is going to be a mess. As long as the Bengals keep Andy Dalton and all the weapons they have, it seems like they're just kind of stuck in the same 5-11 spot they're at. I think they start slow, they have a tough start, and they also lost Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell, so they gotta find a way to win those games without them, but I think they will at the end of the season, and they will still make the playoffs. This team is a lot more talented than people give them credit for. I think they bounce back and make the playoffs. Now yes, they're the Cleveland Browns, they could screw this up at any moment, but I do believe in the hype, I do think they have all the talent to make it. I think Baker Mayfield is out to prove, not just to Colin Cowherd, but to all the haters wrong, that they will make the playoffs. Despite the fact that they are the Cleveland Browns, I do buy into the hype, I think they're set up to win the division this year, and I think they're going to do just that. No identity, Marcus Mariota has to go right now, this team is going to struggle. I think Jacoby Brissett is okay, but losing Andrew Luck is a pretty big blow. I think they kind of are last place here. Losing Andrew Luck was very critical for this team, and I don't expect them to do good this year. However, I do think Jacoby Brissett will do good by the end of the season. The Titans are a good team, or a bad team. No one has a beat on this team. I just don't know where to put them. Let me guess Nick Foles truthers, he won the Super Bowl, I guess he can do the same in Jacksonville? No. He has no talent to work with offensively, and he's not even a good quarterback to be honest. Jags are not in for a good season, do not fall for the hype. Although because of their defense, I think they're the biggest threat to the Texans O-line, I just don't believe in their offense, I still think the Jags are going to miss the playoffs. I still have my questions on the offensive line, but I think Deshaun Watson is going to have his best year yet, and also he has DeAndre Hopkins to work with and a great defense. With Andrew Luck gone, I think now the Texans are probably the favorite to win this division. That O-line is pretty bad, but I think they're just too talented. Cool, you got Antonio Brown, but what's that really going to do for you? You still have the worst roster in the league, and John Gruden is probably going to make a pretty dumb trade. The Raiders are just really lacking in talent. And, uh, where's their pass rush exactly? Because that's pretty important. I see some people putting the Broncos as a sleeper team. And you know what? I get it. You have some offensive playmakers and an elite defense. But what has been holding them back these last few years? Quarterback. And I don't think Joe Flacco is going to fix that. 
the Broncos are probably my biggest sleeper of the AFC, and I think Vic Fangio is going to really help. But do we really know what Drew Locke is like? We know what Joe Flacco is like. Pretty controversial, but I'm not high on this Chargers team. First off, you're always known for being one of the more unhealthy teams in the league, except for last year. Two, no home field advantage. And three, you're the Chargers. I do realize the Chargers have Charger concerns, but I'll give them the benefit of a doubt. Their team is too talented. I say they make the wild card. I don't expect Patrick Mahomes to throw 50 touchdowns again, but I do think he's going to have a good year, and I think this Chiefs offense will lead the way to win the AFC West. The Chiefs have been winning this division consecutive years. I kind of don't see why it really stopped, to be honest. The Chargers are a threat, but they're the Chargers. I mean, you tell me why the New York Giants shouldn't be dead last in the division. And don't hype up Daniel Jones, that was the preseason. Give me one good solid reason on how Dave Gettleman has been a pretty good GM this year. I do like Dwayne Haskins, but he needs some NFL experience and the Redskins just simply put have a lot of work to do. Washington's gonna be a feisty team, but their team is just not ready. They missed the playoffs. Ezekiel Elliott might not play, and we all saw what happened when Ezekiel Elliott doesn't play for the Cowboys, and also, Jason Garrett is so inconsistent. I think Jerry Jones has done a good job setting this team up, but I've simply just never been a fan of Jason Garrett. They missed the playoffs, he finally gets fired. I guess we're just gonna forget that the Eagles won the Super Bowl not too long ago, and they basically have the same roster that did so. Carson Wentz is elite, stop saying he's not. The Eagles are actually my only 13-3 team this season. I think Carson Wentz is gonna show people why he is their franchise quarterback, they make the playoffs. Look, I get it, Khalil Mack, just really an elite defense, and you have some offensive playmakers, but I cannot trust that Mitch Trubisky actually makes a playoff run this year. I need to see a lot more from him. So even though I think Matt Nagy is a good coach and they have a good defense, defensive teams are just not consistent. People kind of forget that when Matthew Stafford is on his game, the Lions actually do pretty good, and Matt Patricia could maybe do some good things for this defense, and they also have a good receiving core for Matt Stafford, but don't think they're going to make a whole lot of noise anyway. Despite their roster, I don't think the Vikings are really going to stand out this year. I think Kirk Cousins will perform better. It's just not going to be enough. I think Kirk Cousins will do a little bit better than he did last year, and the defense might still be good, but a lot of their players on the roster are aging, and they still have a bad O-line. I actually have Detroit as my biggest NFC sleeper. I think that Matt Patricia is an okay coach. He can coach the defense. Stafford's got a lot of weapons. They won't make the playoffs, but they'll be okay. Listen, man, I'm no Packers fan, but Aaron Rodgers is back. When he's back, the Pack is back. Do not deny it, but they got to keep him healthy because if he's out, the Packers are out. They had a surprisingly disappointing season last year. I think they do bounce back this year, and A-Rod shows why he is still a good quarterback. If Jameis Winston is still their quarterback, they can't really do much. I don't expect Bruce Arians to be really good after retirement, and there's a lot of questions on the defense, and also, being in Florida, the Bucks kind of disappoint every year despite the hype. This is always that team that, like, it wouldn't surprise you if they did good. They just <laughs> never do. The Panthers are that team that wouldn't really surprise me if they made the playoffs, but I just don't think they have that energy in them to actually do it, and I think the other NFC teams are better. Don't get me wrong, Atlanta has a loaded roster, and this should be Matt Ryan's, or at least one of his best years. I just don't think it's going to be better than all the other teams. I'm going to get a lot of disagreement for this, but I mean, look at the recent history. Every conference championship loser always ends up disappointing somehow the very next season. And also, you already showed regression last year. You probably will show regression this year. Not only do the Panthers have this weird, odd season numbered year they make playoffs, but simply put, when Cam is healthy, Panthers are on a roll. 
Not only are the Falcons coming back healthy, but they also have a much better offensive and defensive coordinators than they did in the past. In fact, this might even be better than their Super Bowl run. I think they go to the playoffs. Let's be honest here, this is kind of the Saints' last chance. If they don't make it this year, they're probably done for the future. Cliff Kingsbury has truly impressed me over the offseason, and it wouldn't surprise me if he did good in the regular season. I also love Kyler Murray and the defense, but they still maybe have to get some more NFL experience to actually be that good. Although the future could be very good for this team, I think they just need a little bit more time. 2019 is not the year. Yeah, Russell Wilson and Pete Carroll work really good together, and they also picked up Jadavian Clowney, but they have no O-line, they cannot travel to save their life, and I just think the other NFC teams are better. When you have Pete Carroll and Russell Wilson, this team is never a pushover. I don't think they quite make the playoffs, but certainly no team to look over. Honestly, I don't even like this Rams team. I hate their defense, Todd Gurley isn't healthy, and also Jared Goff is not that good in my eyes, but I think they still have it in them to at least make the wild card. Recent NFC teams that make the Super Bowl always struggle and then eventually make the playoffs in the end. Same thing with the Rams. A much more improved defense, Kyle Shanahan and Jimmy G on the offense, Watch out opposing teams, the 49ers are going to make a lot of noise. It seems like the Niners are kind of hyped up every year. I think this time they do it, this time they'll actually win the division and make the playoffs. So this is a playoff game that literally no one expects, or maybe it's not a playoff game that nobody expects. Nobody actually expects the Bills to make the playoffs, and guess what baby? I have them winning this game. Josh Allen will take a huge step forward, like I said earlier, and the Texans stink in the playoffs. The Steelers and the Chiefs seem to play almost every year, and you never know who's going to win this game, but with the Chiefs having a strong home field advantage, and really just in my eyes a better team, I think they do advance. Oh my gosh, the Bills might actually beat the Patriots this time! It's kind of weird to see the Browns not only in the playoffs, but also have a first round bye. But I don't think the Browns are going to win this game because they don't have playoff experience. That's right, I do have an AFC Championship rematch with the Chiefs and Patriots. The difference is that the Patriots are home. It'll be a hard fought game. It might even go into overtime like it did last year. But I think it's the same result the Patriots do head on to Miami to play in the Super Bowl. Alright, so we got a really fun matchup with the Chargers at the Browns for the first playoff game. This will be fun to watch, but I do think the Chargers go on and win. Texans never seem to figure it out in the first round of the playoffs. I think they'll make it, but Steelers will win. So we got the same divisional round from last year, the Chargers at the Patriots, and uh, yeah, it's not going to change either. The Patriots are going to kill them again. Alright, so we got the Steelers at the Chiefs. This is always an interesting matchup, and surprisingly, I actually have a little upset here. The Steelers will actually beat the Chiefs and advance to Boston to play the Patriots for the AFC Championship. This long-time rivalry matchup, Patriots and Steelers. But it's also uh, a game the Patriots never usually lose, so the Patriots are going to win. The Rams and Falcons, they actually played in the playoffs two years ago and the Falcons pulled off one of the bigger upsets that year and the Rams could definitely do it because six seed Super Bowl runner-ups seem to pull off an upset every time, but I don't think I'm going to count on that. I think the Falcons just are going to take advantage of that terrible Rams defense and they also have home field advantage. First off, what a matchup. Drew Brees versus Aaron Rodgers. Saints versus Packers. That is such an interesting matchup, and I think it'll be at Lambeau Field, and because it's at Lambeau Field, I think the Saints will yet again finish the playoffs in heartbreaking fashion, and A-Rod is going to advance. 
Now, the Falcons and 49ers play in the regular season, and it's at San Francisco, and I actually predict them to play at San Francisco again. I want to say the Falcons win because they know Kyle Shanahan's playbook, and they also, I think, have a more talented defense. But I think the 49ers have time to prepare, and they also have a pretty good home field advantage. Packers and Eagles is a pretty interesting matchup, but the Eagles have a very strong home field advantage, and to be honest, a much better team, so I think the Eagles are going to win. I've never seen this before. Jimmy G versus Carson Wentz, 49ers vs. Eagles. This is an offensive matchup for sure. But I think the Eagles are just going to edge out the 49ers and reach the Super Bowl. Yes, I actually predict Patriots and Eagles a Super Bowl rematch. Los Angeles Rams at the Green Bay Packers. This could go well, but it's also going to be pretty cold up in Lambeau. I say Aaron Rodgers wins. Carolina at San Francisco. I think the Panthers are going to play them tough. But it's just a little bit long of a travel there. I think the 49ers will get their win. All right, 49ers at Eagles. Now, this time, the 49ers have to travel a long way. I think this will be a fun game to watch, but the Eagles will come out on top. All right, very intriguing matchup. Packers at Saints. Aaron Rodgers versus Drew Brees should be a really good one. I think the Saints will ultimately win and advance to the NFC Championship. So Saints and Eagles for the NFC Championship. That's going to be a really close one. Even though the Eagles are home, I actually have the Saints winning this game, advancing to Super Bowl 54. Now, I won't lie, I'm not really happy with my prediction here. I don't want there to be a rematch, but it is what I think happens. We have, for the third time, Patriots vs. Eagles in the Super Bowl. Patriots won round one, Eagles won round two. Who wins round three? I'm honestly not that confident in this pick, but I think the Eagles edge it out here. I think they just have a more talented team, and Carson Wentz has to prove to everyone he is elite. Alright, the Super Bowl matchup everybody has been wanting to see. Tom Brady versus Drew Brees. Saints, Patriots. But darn it, I have the Patriots winning. It's kind of hard to doubt them at this point. And usually Tom Brady kind of edges out all the elite quarterbacks he plays. I gotta give it to him. But those are our picks. I can't wait to see if you guys agree or disagree in the comment section. I also definitely can't wait to see what you guys think of my Bills prediction. But other than that, please make sure to smash that like button, blow up the comment section, and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any content. He's wrong on the Bills, and I'm right on the Panthers. Anyway, uh, let us know what you think. And again, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to all the channels that are going to be in the links. And uh, yeah, NFL is starting. Let's go.